In this video, we will discuss why the controller appears to be running in the display, but the sprinklers are off. If the controller display shows a station running, flashing sprinkler icon, or arrow pointing towards running, it sounds like the controller is doing its part. Maybe the water has been shut off at the zone valves. Go to the zone valve and turn the solenoid a quarter to a half turn counterclockwise. If the valves have water, the sprinkler will come on even without the controller. If the sprinklers turn on manually by twisting the solenoid, then the next step is to check for the proper voltage. Turn the dial to the manual one station position. Station runtime will flash on the display. Use the arrow button to move to the desired station. You may use the plus or minus button to select the amount of time for the station to water. Turn the dial clockwise to the run position to begin the manual watering. Use a voltmeter to confirm the range of 24 to 28 volts AC at the screw terminal mark C and the corresponding station screw terminal. Next, go to the valve in question and check the same two wires connected to the valve for the same voltage. If there is no voltage or low voltage at the valve, you may have a damaged wire or bad connection from the controller. If you have the necessary voltage, 25 to 28 volts AC at the valve, then the solenoid may need to be replaced. If you need a new solenoid for the valve, Hunter makes our products and replacement parts available through our network of authorized distributors.